first came here 45 years ago in 1966, there was no mosque in Belfast. And when I left in seven, 1974, there was still no mosque in Belfast. First of all, in 1975, we founded the Islamic Society of Belfast, which then became Islamic Center of Belfast, and we purchased the first building in Eglantine Avenue in 1980. This particular place was purchased in 1986 with the help of uh, Brother uh, Muhammad, Brother Umar Farooqi, who was the president at that time, and I was the vice president. The first prayer was held in 1987 here. At that time, our aim was to provide a accommodation for prayers, about 120 to 150 people. Now, we have completely outstretched that limit. We are far more than what we thought at that time. And that's why we need to expand this place, extend it in such a way that we can accommodate for prayers and other activities a larger number of people. Uh, Belfast Islam Center as a charity organization offers very wide range of services to the Muslim community and to our society at large. Um, of course, uh, as um, a prayer a place or a worshiping place, we have the mosque here which accommodates around 300 or 250 people um, at the time of Jummah prayer. This is the main congregational prayer in our mosque. And uh, of course there is regular there are regular prayers as well from Fajr to Isha time. Um, also uh, we have some classes for uh, the, uh, the new Muslims those people who accepted Islam recently, they are taught in Islamic studies and uh, the tafsir of Quran or the interpretation of the Quran. And also uh, we have um, a regular, uh, um, regular uh, course, what, what's called Islam for Service Provider, um, which is a course that's designed in order to give people some understanding about Islam and about Muslim practices, Muslim behaviors, in order to be familiar with, especially in the workplace. And this helps um, understand more about Islam and Muslim way of life. Here is our Arkanil Islam. Arkanil Islam, they are five, Khamsa. Actually, this is the, the BIC school and um, this is the Arabic school for children. And we need uh, some more space for it because the class is uh, very small and we need um, like um, more space for the children. We can't have more children for the school because the space is very uh, small and uh, that's why we need to extend the mosque and we need to, uh, in order to have more children come in the school to, um, to be able to learn Arabic and learn about Islam and learn about the religion. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dan McGrath and uh, I'm from Down Patrick in County Down, Northern Ireland. Um, and in 1997, um, I visited the uh, Belfast Islamic Centre for the first, what well, was the first uh, mosque that I visited. Uh, alhamdulillah, I met uh, some, some very nice brothers there and I was able to learn uh, the basics of Islam. And uh, alhamdulillah, eventually uh, I made my shahada in the centre. I know there's a lot of hard work involved in trying to, to maintain the masjid. There are a lot of costs involved and uh, we only hope, inshallah, that, uh, that uh, we're able to keep the centre open and to, uh, to provide the service to Muslims, which is obviously, which is obviously a very important need. We have started this project called the Belfast Islamic Centre Extension Project. We have got a quotation of how much it is going to cost. It is going to cost us about £600,000. We have got permission from the Belfast City Council to go ahead with it. And we have also got support from local councils because they feel there is a need. They, they support the diversity in Belfast.
we're trying to raise money for this but since the majority of the people the Muslims here are they are the main they are mainly students they are mainly immigrants they are mainly asylum seekers it is it's going to be a very long time before we can raise this amount of money so we are hoping that the world at large will take this opportunity to do Sadaka Jariah and help us build this or renovate this mosque. So we're really relying on you.